G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, I'm still working on my Stirling engine. And today's project is I've got to drill six holes uniformly, radially, through this uh, end plate. That fits in there, and then once I've got the holes drilled, well, then I can drill through into the body of the uh, of the similar and tap threads and then just bolt it up with some little allen headed bolts. So today, yep, I have to drill six holes radially, equally, uniformly around that piece of brass. Now I'll show you how I'm going to do it. First thing you do is print off an indexing wheel from the internet. I'll put the link to this um, particular site in the video description. Uh, in fact, this is the site that came up uh, in relationship to my gear cutting um, web pages and stuff. The guy set up the page so that you can index gears, but you can index anything with this simple little program. You can use a pie chart from an Excel spreadsheet, but uh, this is more accurate. The Excel spreadsheets aren't 100% accurate. They use a four quadrant division, which uh, means things aren't 100% uniform. Use this program, you'll be okay. So, what I'm going to do with this? Well, we're going to actually put this at the back of the chuck, and that'll be our indexing disc. Uh, as I've got a two-piece bolt-up chuck, I'll just cut the centre out so that it just fits between the backing plate and the, uh, uh, the chuck itself. And then, yep, piece of cake. So, now we're good to go. We've got indexing disc. Got a just a test indicator to align. I mean, you can use anything; doesn't matter. We've got our job set up in the chuck. We've got the Hilda rotary tool. We're going to drill with. We're going to use a stud drill just to spot it first, and then we'll go to a, a longer drill to do the final job. So we're good to go. How good is that, eh? Well, I could go through with that drill. It's pretty close to the right size, but I'll, I'll use the correct one. We'll do a drill swap. Just shows you how good these little Hilda tools are, and not just for grinding, but for fine work like this, you know. Easy, easy peasy indexing. Really good. And it's very accurate, very, very accurate, this thing. No run out, the chuck's got no run out, it's really good. I'm just using the lowest speed, so we'll go through now. So there you go, how easy was that, eh? Just a piece of cake. Did it in a matter of minutes. 100% dead accurate. 
perfect. And you can, you know, make these discs any number of segments you want. You, you know, you could go 12, 20, anything, you know. So say you're making little small wheels and you want to, or fly wheels, you want to drill out the centres, you can at least do your spotting like this and then use a big drill and the drill press to finish. But at least you can get your indexing 100% right. And I mean, the Hilda tool just does this sort of work so easy, it's so accurate, and it's fantastic. Now I did see a guy uh, sent me a message today actually, and he said that you can get a, a 110 uh, volt version from Amazon. I think it's called Mac Tool. Uh, look at my um, Hilda review uh, video, and in the comments you'll see. I'm pretty sure he said it was Mac Tool on Amazon, 110 volts. It's only a 200 watt one, but still that's plenty uh, for this sort of work, whereas this is 400, so maybe you know, going from 220 down to 110, you know, it's half as powerful. I don't know how it works, but anyway, check it out. If, you, if you've got 110 and you want to use one of these, go to Amazon. So there you go, folks. That's the job done. Now all I've got to do is fit this into the uh, displacer uh, cylinder and then drill and tap once again. I'll use the same process, I'll just mount the displacer similar in the chuck, put this into the, uh, the recess and then just drill and tap it. Piece of cake. Now these are these little bolts, this little set of Allen headed bolts I got from Banggood, they're excellent, uh, terrific value. <sighs> How good's that, eh? You couldn't get any more symmetrical than that. <laughs> and it's all done with this paper pie chart disc. Right, well there you have it. Perfect job. You couldn't ask for better. And all you need is get yourself a Hilda. They're not very expensive. Well, I had it running on the slowest speed. It did it easy. Make up a tool post mount. Simple job. Look at my older videos. I'll put some links at the end of the video. You can see um, where I review this and make up a tool post mount. Yeah, make life a lot simpler. Okay, that's it from me. See you next time. Cheers.